Thank you for watching, and remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. Today, with it being Veterans Day, and of course we want to wish a happy Veterans Day to all who uh, serve and who have served uh, as well as we get a chance to look in on, it looks like, uh, I think it's around Arlington uh, Cemetery. Oh, yes, yes, yes indeed. The kids out there holding their flag. Taking everybody through the next two hours. Wow. Uh, we need a palate cleanser after all of that yes. because uh, that close call, we've got wintry weather in the forecast in some places. So what are you guys thinking? Yeah, yeah. our producer DG likes, likes a palate cleanser. When we yeah. see a video mm -hmm. like that, we got to, you know, have some sorbet. Yeah. Let's uh, do it. How about a, a great idea? But, you know, I guess it's uh, You know what? I just realized that it had the head and everything. I thought that was like a trap. The rest of the cars. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think it comes right, to life later on, though. That's the worrisome part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, all right, you guys have a good day. We'll keep it rolling here on America's drains that are clogged by the falling leaves. This is a tough time of year actually for heavy rain because of the leaves that have come down and can create some issues. Now here's the water vapor across the Pacific Northwest. This is that atmospheric river that is pointed right now at Western Washington. You can see back here up, you know, across the Northern uh, Pacific, we've got lots of pieces of energy out there, lots to keep this rain going, right? But it's especially important to track this moisture coming on in. There's a lot of it actually, and it's all pointed right at the Pacific Northwest. Northwest. So atmospheric rivers, did you know, are actually categorized, be but it also can be hazardous. And that's the concern with all of this rain coming on in. The amount of moisture that we have available with this here is on the high side. And you can see, I mean, that's Cat 3, Cat 4, Cat 5 with these atmospheric rivers. That's when we get our higher moisture. Um, and so, you know, that's um, where we are with this event coming on in today and into tonight and into tomorrow. Also, we know that these kind of higher level category atmospheric rivers last a couple of days. So when you look at this Cat 4 range, we're looking at the one to three time frame, a one to three day time frame, and that's about what we'll be dealing with here as well, probably about one to two days with this one. So watching the rain come in, flood watches are up because of that. Um, starting today, we've got Bellingham, Seattle, all the way down to Newport in Oregon. This is the area that's going to take the brunt of the rainfall. High amounts of atmospheric moisture there. Right now, the rain is coming in, especially around the Portland area, but it's going to shift up to Seattle as well. And so we've got big numbers coming in. Plus, it's warm right now in terms of snow levels. So a lot of this is going to be rain, even getting into the Cascades, unless you get higher up at elevation. Possible flooding or flash flooding through tomorrow morning. And quickly, I want to time this out and to show you how, look, we're in this all day today into tomorrow. It's not really until Saturday that we get a short break before the next system comes in. It's nice Alex. to go out and enjoy it, right? It's true. Yeah. Very true indeed. Well, watch those nice conditions uh, deteriorate right here for us, at least in terms of those temperatures. Uh, we're bringing in some colder air. We're seeing it right now. Denver, 25 degrees, 40 in Omaha, but still on the milder side as you head towards the south and the east. Yes, um, until, of course, the front comes through. Our fro pod definitely going to bring some um, big changes out there. I mean, enjoy these temps that are going to be above average today. we got 70 in Dallas. For now, it's cooler than we would have been, um, but you're going to get temperatures knocked down even more. So, most of the above average temps in the eastern third here for you, essentially from the Ohio Valley, upper Ohio Valley into the uh, mid-Atlantic and northeast. That's what we'll see temps 5 to maybe 15 degrees above average, but Jen, here comes the blue, and that means mm -hmm. cooler air. So below average temps coming in tomorrow. Chicago, um, St. Louis, you're going to see the cool down. I mean, look at the difference. St. Louis, you're going to the 40s compared to the upper 60s. Yeah, that is a bit of a difference. All right, yeah. so here's what's going on in terms of the pattern situation heading into the weekend. Essentially, a deep trough will be in place across a lot of the east. That's where things are going to be the chilliest year for. So uh, expect those numbers here to not even get out of the 50s here in Nashville. Or even 40s farther north. Right. Meanwhile, it's going to be practically. 90 in parts of the oh, West. Man. Crazy, crazy. So that brings a clipper diving in and providing us with some snow. snow. Yeah. And some cold as well behind. And some wind. That's what clippers yeah. usually do. So we will have cold air in place before the clipper comes in. Yeah. And then it reinforces it. <laughs> exactly. So just more is going to come in. Yeah. So with the cold air around, this time around, we're going to be seeing a little bit more wintry weather here for us for a number of areas, including the interior sections of the Northeast. Uh, we'll get a chance to see that get going here for the early part of next week. Some snow impacting you there. Clippers usually move pretty fast. Um, they do bring some snow showers, but most of the time they don't have a lot of moisture with them. So usually pretty light. And by Sunday, you can see that activity sliding its way south and eastbound. There could be a mixture here for parts of the upper Ohio Valley. Pittsburgh, maybe some rain and snow mixing in there. Same as you work your way back across uh, places like, well, maybe Syracuse up towards Watertown. 
for your Monday. All right, so then by Monday, you see that logo off the, the coast here. It's gonna be you know, a pretty tough day around Boston, out towards the mm. Cape. You guys have had such great weather though lately, so we're due, right, for a 49 and rainy kind of day. Yes, yeah, like my goodness, uh, we're getting punished for having such great weather now. <laughs> 40 in Binghamton, you'll have some snow showers early in the day on Monday. DC though, it looks like you'll escape dealing with uh, some of the precip in the lower 50s. You're probably wondering how much snow. You know, for most of us, it'll be less than an inch. There'll be some pockets of maybe one to three or three to five. Minnesota into Wisconsin. And remember, this is now our second chance um, because we got the first chance coming in right. tonight in Minnesota and then another one coming in this weekend. So that's the European model's depiction of things here for us. You can see there are a few spots where we could see even some five to eight inch totals. Uh, same for you with the GFS model. Uh, but this one also brings some of the snow a little bit farther mm -hmm. south. So we'll see where that ends up being. Not looking for it to be backbreaking snow, but nonetheless, a better shot there, at least according to the American yeah, model. There could be a few surprises over there, like mm -hmm. you know, around the capital district of New York, right? A couple spots maybe um, getting up into uh, that five inch-ish range. Chicago, we could get some snow out of this. You see temperatures really get cold after the snow ends. 26 degrees once yeah. we get to Sunday night. I would eventually Boy. say that's probably going to be the coldest we've seen so far this season in yeah. Chicago. Oh, yeah. What, what are we this morning? I mean, or at least today we're going to the upper 50s. Yeah, it's, so, it's been miles. Yeah. So yeah. you'll feel that. Yeah. Columbus, Ohio, another spot that's also going to be dealing with a little bit of wintry precip mixture sun, uh, snow with rain for Sunday into your Sunday night. Okay. <laughs> It'll be cloudy and gray, and you know how it goes. Mm -hmm. Pittsburgh, last city here to look at. We've got the chance of snow and actually turning over to all snow by Monday. So we will see, get a light coating out there. Highs in the lower 40s. And that brings us to the